what they do. They conceal their atrocities in elaborate theater. They invalidate the truth with their coordinated swarms of lies. Got visual on Pharaoh. We had the attention of every man, woman, and child in occupied space. Even the moderates in the inner colonies were starting to wake up. But the UEG got on the networks and sang them a lullaby, putting the masses back to sleep, smearing those who would speak the truth. That's what they did to Benjamin Jerome. What's the head count down there? About 130, 140, plus half a dozen VIPs. Just looks like a bunch of innings in a field to me. Perimeter secure, sir. Roger that. Hold positions. They convinced the public that it was Ben who lit this fire in the outer colonies. But we've been burning for decades. Not because a journalist cried in justice, but because our children cried in pain. We offered our resources. We saluted their flag. But when we cried for help, no one came. Check your three, Wiley. Roger that. When our cities were choking under the insurrection. The UEG called in the cavalry. They leveled our homes. When our families were melting under Covenant warships, the UEG, our government, stood by and watched us die, whole planets. But now, they tell everyone that our struggle was Ben's fabrication? No. That I was his invention? No, I wasn't invented. I was born in these colonies, and our struggle wasn't fabricated. It was forged in the ash and glass that was left after the Covenant attacks. We survived. And no matter how many lies they shovel on top of us, this fire they started, the ideals we stand for, will never burn out. Man, that's some scraggly looking in. Cut the chatter. Oh, we are only acting as CEO now, boys? Shut it down, Wiley. Yes, sir. I hear you. And Ben will get the amnesty he deserves, but not until we had the strength to give it to him. Yeah. We need to send a message to the UEG, a clear sign that we We need to drop a thermonuke and spray imperialist guns. That's the message we need to send. From fire to burn. The UNSC recruitment center or some federal comm target isn't going to free Benjamin Jerome. We have screamed from fire to blood for decades. And for decades, blood is what we've been drowning in. That's what they want. A shooting war, something they know they can win. It's a movement at the refinery. Structures out of range, stay focused on the target. Every day we plot revenge, they grow stronger. We toss ourselves into the flames, calling it revolution? No, this needs to be a war of ideas. Not fenced in by battlements, but lifted up by economic prosperity building a force that the UEG will have no choice but to bargain with. That's the war we can win. You've had a seat here for weeks. It's time to strike. No, it's time to stop blindly tossing our sons and daughters into I the... was at Memor with the FLP in 2511. Memor? Where the hell were you? Thought they all got scooped. You weren't even born yet. You guys all bark. You stand up in front of a bunch of real freedom fighters and talk soft like Sakibo. That's the only suicide mission I see you going on. You need to back up. You need to watch yourself, youngin. Grown-ups are talking. I said, back up. Lostwick, it's fine. Hey, we got an old-school rebel rat approaching the target. Dude looks ready to go. Alpha team, watch your flank. Roger that. All right. Go in. Now. Distractions of go in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Ah! Ah! Target acquired. Copy that. Get back to the ship. We're clear. Let's roll. What the f Whoa. Get off Whoa. me. What the hell? Whose office is this, huh? Who authorized Whoa, it? Calm down, Pharaoh. Hey, I outrank you, Lance Corporal. You don't get to call me Pharaoh. It's Commander Sankar to you. 
copy? And you just ran guns blazing into an active civilian operation, you corn-fed Cro-Mag. Who authorized hey, it? Hey, I didn't see any civilians down there. Just looked like a bunch of rebel rats to me. Where's your CO? Your ass is getting put on ice, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. You wanna make a drop without a pod trooper, huh? You wanna slap a KIA on that oh, jacket? you're gonna kill a Marine now? You know, from this height, you might just live. Those rebel rats could send you home a piece at a time as a weekly care package to your mom. Maya. Damn. That rebel stink must be seeping into your brain. Do not test me. Maya! Noah? What in the hell was that? You authorized that strike? Maya, what kind of... I'll explain everything when you get here. Are you okay? I... No, no, I'm not okay, Noah. I'm not okay at all. Half those people were civilians, and you've got Neanderthal hell jumpers going in hard with full ordinance? I mean, what? Wait, there's still another team on the ground? Yes, there's a second Call team. Call them back now. I can't. It's still an active op. Bravo team's on cleanup. That's not cleanup. That's a slaughterhouse. Sounds like a bunch of trigger-happy jumpers killing civilians. Pull the rest of your team now. No. You were the only deliverable asset. The only deliverable for what? What is this? I've risked my cover more times than I can remember, and I haven't gotten so much as a whisper from you or Command since I wrapped on Jero. I, I am- No, I'm sorry. Command put us on strict no comms three weeks ago. My hands were tied. I have been in the dark for almost a month, and right now I am in pitch black on whatever the hell this op you're running is, so please, Tell me, what? We had to pull you. It came from the top and it happened fast. What is Command even doing? When they activated me for Jero, the whole point was to create more regional stability. I thought they'd have it all locked up by now. They do. Tell that to Petra Janicek. After her last message, people are still pissed. You didn't hear? Acquisition team picked her up hiding on a transport freighter out on the fringes. Things are changing inside Oni. What you did, killing those agents in Ben's apartment. I, oh, I can't believe this. I know, this. listen. They, I know. Section 3 orders me to murder fellow agents, and now they're laying it at my it's feet? It's not official, it's just a political move. God. Someone's trying to appease some of the other commanders. I looked him up, you know. The two agents. Why would you do that? The younger guy had a three-year-old daughter. Do you know? <sighs> Maya. He was 27. And the other agent was a year behind me at the academy. <laughs> I killed both of them. And for what? Maya, I wish I knew how to make this easier for you. Everything's just... I tried to do what I could, even though I couldn't reach you. There are questions. Questions? Mashak Maradi. Your weapon never registered as fired on that mission. The kill was never recorded. It didn't he... register because I didn't use my weapon. Wh Wait, what do you mean? I'll spare you the gory details, okay? You didn't have a choice, Maya. I know. He was about to blow your cover. If you had... I know. They listen to me, Noah. They believe in me. Or Pharaoh. They want a better life. They really do. They've just never been shown how to get there. Believe me, I know. Nobody could have predicted what you've been able to accomplish. But the fact of the matter is... It's outside the scope of my objectives, I know. Yes. God. Well, we're gonna have a hell of a time sealing up my cover after that joke of an extraction. We need to assess the post-op ground narrative as fast as possible for the release. Excuse me, sir. Casualties ready to report. Go ahead. 26 rebels down, two VIPs, 41 injured, survivable. I need to get back in, Noah. And you will, Maya. But not yet. They're bringing you to Midnight Facility. There's something that Oni doesn't understand about human cost. Maybe the people do, the individuals. But as a collective, when you look at people as numbers on a chart, as probabilities, just factors on a bigger equation, what happens is you actually lose the bigger picture. They, they run these complicated algorithms. You know, they, they weigh the cost-benefit analysis of what a human life is worth. I recognized every single name 
on that list of 67 casualties. To Oni, they were just 67 insurgents. But I knew what their voices sounded like. I knew why half of them were there that night, what they wanted for their lives. Seven people who had sworn allegiance to me, who I'd known for years, were dead. I'd lost two of the best friends I'd ever had in that operation. And as the person who was sworn to protect them, I, I, I didn't know how to process that loss. But what terrified me most was that after five years living as Pharaoh, I had no idea what Maya was supposed to think about any of it. 